Laws of Exponents 4.3, Worksheet Number 3, Question Number 10. For Question Number 10, before I can divide, well, I need to simplify the numerator and I need to simplify the denominator. So for this problem, I have something to do in each. In the numerator, I need to multiply. When you see the two parentheses side by side, that means multiplication. So in the numerator, I'm going to multiply. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. I have an x to the third and an x to the first. When you multiply, you add exponents. So that's going to become x to the fourth. I only have one y term in the numerator, so I'm going to bring down my y to the twelfth. I have one z term, so I'm going to bring down z to the eleventh. In the denominator, I have power of a product. When you hear power of a product, you need to take the coefficient and raise it to the exponent. So I need to put negative 2 to the fourth power. Negative 2 to the fourth power is 16. So in the denominator, I'm going to have 16, and then I've got w, y, and z. I need to multiply these exponents. So for the w, 2 times 4 would give me w to the 8th. For the y, 3 times 4 would give me y to the 12th. And then the last one, I take 2 times 4 to get z to the 8th. And I've simplified the numerator, and I've simplified the denominator. So now I put my big parentheses and my exponent of 4. All right, now I need to divide. Now I need to divide. Um, let, me use, let me use this orange. Okay, so pull up my calculator again. I've got my coefficients of negative 24 over 16. Again, I had to clear it before I put in the negative 24. So negative 24 over 16 is negative 3 halves. So I'm going to put negative 3 in the numerator and the 2 in the denominator. All right. What variable terms do you have in both the numerator and the denominator? I've got y's and z's in both. Okay. I've got a y to the 12th in the numerator, a y to the 12th in the denominator. When you've got the exact same thing in, in the numerator and denominator, they cancel out. So the only thing you need to do now on your own is to divide the z terms. z to the eighth is the smaller one, so go ahead, subtract, and find your exponent for the z. After we divide, we always rewrite. After we divide, we rewrite. In the numerator, I have negative 3, x to the fourth, and z to whatever you figured that out to be. In the denominator, I have a 2, w to the eighth. In my parentheses, and then the 4. All right, now we're ready to do power of a fraction. We're ready to do power of a fraction. Well, anytime you have power of a product or power of a fraction, the first thing we want to look for are these coefficients, and we want to raise it to that exponent. So I've got negative 3 to the fourth power 
and two to the fourth power. All right, go ahead, figure out what negative three to the fourth is and write that number there. Then figure out what two to the fourth is and put that number on the bottom. I'm gonna have an X and a Z in the numerator and a W in the denominator. So the only thing left for you to do is multiply your exponents. And I am not going to help you do that. You need to do that on your own. Okay, and that would be your final answer. So, again, negative 3 to the 4th, and don't forget the parentheses when you're putting that in your calculator. That would go there. 2 to the 4th would go there. And then you're multiplying your exponents for your x, z, and w. And that is it for number 10. All right, um, I'm not going to help you at all with the extra credit. Uh, you can pause your video to see what steps you need to take. Um, I did put down the steps for each, but if you really wanna know how to do the extra credit, I would look at example number six and the 4.3 notes, because it's the exact same steps for that example. All right, and that is it for um, Laws of Exponent Worksheet number three. If you have any questions, Please let me know.